appear later in the programme with all the details. Now, the latest in our week-long series on Cambridge inventions and innovations. Scientists have created a way for real cows to connect to the internet. The invention is a series of sensors that give an early health warning for the entire herd. Now, for the fourth part of our week-long look at how Silicon Fen is leading the country for new innovations, Wazim Mirza reports from a farm near St Neots that's trialling new technology and it promises to make farms fit for the digital age. When animals on a farm become ill, it can potentially spell trouble for livelihoods and put pressure on food supplies. So could one solution lie in this? Worn around the neck, this collar detects changes in behaviour that could mean these cows are in pain or simply unwell. The sensors are on the animals and they're collecting data constantly as animals go about their lives. For example, if an animal is not walking properly, the uh, alert will be raised and the owner can then go and check on the hoofs and uh, take action that's needed. The smart collar was hatched in only one weekend at the Cambridge Judge Business School. I was doing a master's in business here in Cambridge and that's where I met Veena and uh, during November we won a competition and the idea came, came about. I expect in the next three to five years farms that wish to stay competitive they will have to move into a more technological and data-driven approach. And the prize is immense. Agricultural body Agritech East says the early detection of sickness in a herd could help the UK's struggling dairy industry. Trials of the Smart Bell device have shown farmers could be better off. A herd of 300 cows would net £40,000 if this collar were fitted. The biggest things are uh, lameness and fertility. So the sooner we can find out they're lame, the, the quicker we can treat them. Uh, in the long term, they grow better, more, better profitability. A Cambridge invention that's now hoping to go from working prototype to a finished product that could one day find a place on farms the world over. Wasi Mirza, BBC Look East, on the Croxton Park Farm near St Neots. Fascinating stuff. Of course, all this week we've been taking a look at what makes the technology cluster centred around Cambridge the envy of the world and how the latest inventions from the area could change the way we live. You can find out more on the BBC Cambridge Breakfast Show online and here on Look East. And tomorrow we'll have the final part of our series when we'll take to the skies above Northamptonshire on board the world's first battery-powered plane.